I think it's more about just questioning the material world and these inventions that human beings have created and confined ourselves to. It's everything from, from college and, and studies and, and ranks within a corporation or a school system, any sort of system, organized system. And money, which is the most incredible invention that humans have created, and our reality, the material world. And we've come so far in so many ways, but I think Jim is struggling to come to the, to answer the question of you know, who am I? What is my purpose in the world? And what's real? What's the really real? And trying to find ways to, in a very strange way, rid himself of as much as possible and playing to lose, to get to the essence of what's real. She's seen both sides of Jim. She knows both worlds, and I think she's the only one that knows both worlds, um, and has a very interesting and unique connection with him, one that we maybe will wait our whole lives to try and have, just a, a knowing. They see the world the same way. I think L.A. is definitely a character in this. And I think a lot of us um, on this film live here in Los Angeles or have lived here a long time. And we're all surprised by the locations because they're so historical and none of us have ever seen them. So it's been a fun adventure to, to go around and discover all of these new kind of secret, hidden, and sometimes dark parts of Los Angeles that the, the veneer of dreams has kind of brushed aside. We just talk about it a lot. And I've never been on a job where I've had the, just the luxury to be able to do that, but it's been me and, and Mark and Rupert just, just in a room questioning it and talking about it. Um, and having that freedom has really brought a lot, I think, to the film. Because it's not just accepting what's on the page, it's really making sure that it's, that it's the right decision and that it feels right and to just know what you're doing. It feels more like breathing instead of trying to just get something done as quickly as possible without thinking about it. I guess holding your breath versus breathing. Because I'm allowed to have the time to think the thought, and I think with a movie like this, the way my character is, the way Jim's character is, it's about these sort of mental choices, these choices that we make and the ways that we justify them. And Rupert wants to see the moment where things register, the, thing, the time when things connect or when they don't connect, and sometimes it takes a little bit of time. He's up before any of us. For our call time's five, he's up at two. And he always has a good mood, even though his character isn't always in a good mood. <laughs> we had his lines memorized like six months before we started shooting.